So we are here today at Clumber Park to do an adventure lab and a few physical geocaches. We've been here before and I've shown you this area before and that's one of the entrances in but we're taking a walk all the way around the lake today so uh, hopefully we'll see some cool things when we're out walking. Let me show you this big old tree. A couple of hundred years old, this one. And that one there. So this is right on the edge of the lake, as you can see over there. It's about 12 degrees today. And there's a bit of a breeze blowing. And it is the 30th of June at the time of recording. And we've got some baby more hens over there. Alright, so we've got a bit of open land here to show you the lake, or part of the lake. And we're surrounded by ponds here. Nice open area there, we're going to look at that. This is Hardwick Hall War Memorial, unveiled in 1918, is a Grade 2 listed monument. It remembers the men of the Columbia Estate lost in the First World War and was unveiled on the 25th of September 1918 by the Duke of Newcastle. So yeah, that's the War Memorial. We've got a few names on here. Okay, okay it's old ass. It's called the Chantry. What oh, fascinating old ass. <laughs> yep, so there's a little pub down here called the parking, which is open at the weekends. The closing times can vary. Well, I thought I'd show you that. So this is the wetlands here that they've created. It's formed during the late 1980s when mining subsidence caused the flooding, which was an agricultural field at the time. But water levels went up and down for a few years after the initial flooding, which ensured a constant increase in wetland environment. So obviously it's now a beautiful little wetland and this is the weir. As you can see. So we found our first physical geocache of the day. Under a rock. These are all done and maintained with the National Trust. So if you want to come to Clumber Park folks, come and have a go at them because they're awesome. Very basic, but very awesome as well, especially if you're a new geocacher. They are uh, <coughs> definitely a great way to a way to explore and have fun with your kids. So we're now walking deeper into the forest. We're not actually too far from where we stayed at Thorsby. If you recall a video in the past where we had our house flooding, we had to stay in a property in Thorsby where we had private access to Thorsby Hall. If you remember that, 
we're not actually that far away from Thorsby, so we're at the back end of Clumber. Lots of beautiful walks around here. The good thing about Clumber Park is you can come here and if you get off the main path, there's lots of walking where hardly anyone around. I've had many a cool childhood messing around in these woods. All right, folks, so we're uh, gonna look for this next year crash now. I'm well, pretty sure we know where it is, we've seen it as we're walking towards it. Yeah, easy one. Pretty much didn't open that one. Didn't open. Yeah, there's not a lot in it. We'll put one of my spies. Someone's put a blooming sweet in there. Mm -hmm. I hate it when people put sweets in. Hate it. So we've done three J caches just now, two Adventure Lab stages, um, and we're now on 3,000. 823 so we are closing in on the 4,000 that is required by us and our personal goal to get to 4,000 by the end of 23 and we're only at the very end of June so we're only halfway through the year so we, we should easily do it this year but obviously you weren't watching this vlog until much later in the year all right so we've got a view of the church from from back here got big trees in way don't really help You may have seen a short video I did of this in end of, June, end of June, beginning of July, in the same area. I'll have a walk around there in a second. I've no, not seen no J-Cash here, shall I? The fluid nooks and crannies. Yes, yeah. Oh, that's it. <laughs> Buried in. Okay, folks, so we've made it down to the grotto. We've actually locked the gate on it, so yeah, I'm not gonna trespass over to it. But it is the Clumber Grotto. So, 1765 Grade 2 listed building by Stephen Wright, built for the Duke of Newcastle. A single story slab roof building containing a late C19 water turbine, driving a three throw water pump. So I've said it, the new water pumps just started up. Pump from an artisan well near the grotto to an underwater reservoir holding 60,000 gallons of water. Travelled one kilometres through a gravity system. Wow. Fine little area to sit. There's two people over there, they're feeding birds. A full loaf of bread. They do say you should never feed birds bread, but them birds look like they're really enjoying it. 
it. Get up there. An unusual bookshop. Discovery Centre. Nice, beautiful garden. I'm sure they didn't used to oh, say that. See how much it weighs. So as we're now coming to the end of the upload, just this opportunity to say thank you for watching. It's a fantastic place, Clumber Park, great place to bring the family. There is a discovery centre that you can take the children in. Didn't actually visit that section myself this time, but I have done in the past with the kids. And uh, National Trust do a fantastic job, so thank you. Hope you enjoyed today's upload. Please remember to subscribe for more videos and check out the playlist.